Hello, my dear students. Here we are again in a new session. Today, we are going to talk about lesson three, living without electricity. Who can live without electricity? I think no one. Nobody can live without electricity. We use the electricity in all in all activities in our life, almost terrible. We use it in uh, charging our mobile phones. We use it uh, refrigerator, uh, air conditioner, and uh, also a washing machine. We use also the electricity, the uh, electric mixture. We use it uh, in the television, in the internet. We can't live without electricity okay so electricity play an important role in our life okay renewable energy renewable energy resources such as wind water cold uh, generating electricity from water called hydropower called what hydropower the word hydro means water, okay? So we use renewable energy resources like wind or water to generate electricity, okay? To generate electricity. We use the water to generate electricity, so the power of the water called hydro power, okay? We use it to generate electricity. Whatever the sources of energy is renewable uh, or not re renewable, we should conserve the energy through many ways. We should conserve or preserve or control our uses of energy through many ways, such as number one, turning off lights when they are not needed. Okay. Number two. Unplugging electrical devices when we not used, like when you charge your mobile phone. Your mobile phone is it charged? You leave the charger in the socket. It's wrong. Okay, it's wrong. You must move, remove, or unplug the charger from the socket. Okay, so unplugging electrical devices when not used. Okay. Imagine the electric current being cut off while you were studying. You can use simple ways to keep studying, like what? In the past, the electricity, when I was a child, uh, the electricity cut more times, okay? We, use, we used to use candles instead of electric lamps. We use the tool write with a pen and paper, which is instead of using computer or mobiles or laptops. Okay, so you have to use this ways again with the electricity cut off to conserve electricity. Okay, so you must use candles instead of electric lamps. Okay, number two, you have to. Write with a pen and paper instead of using computer. Okay, we conclude that the electrical energy is very important in our lives and should be conserved. Activity 8 Using fossil fuels to generate electricity. We use fossil fuels to generate electricity. Nowadays in Egypt, we have a problem with natural gas, so they have to cut the electricity every day from an hour to two hours in some places. Okay, how we use the fossil fuels to generate electricity? As you know, fossil fuels have many uses. We use gasoline and the natural gas to operate cars, okay? We use the oil or coal or natural gas to generate also electricity. 
Now we will study how fossil fuel can be used to generate electricity, which is used to light homes. First, we generate electricity from fossil fuels when we burn fossil fuels. I said fossil fuels means uh, fuel means any substance we, when we burn it, it gives us thermal energy. Okay, so fossil fuel when we burn it, it gives us thermal energy. This thermal energy we use to operate the electric power station to give us electricity. Let's see. Fuel burns. When we burn the fuel, it produces thermal energy. We use this thermal energy here to boil water in special pipes. Okay, when this special pipes uh, get uh, heat energy, it turns into water vapor or steam. This steam rises in these pipes when it reaches uh, a turbine special device called turpin. This turpin round or uh, have kinetic energy in the move. But the turpin D turns to a produces kinetic energy which operate something called a generator. This generator spins. When the generator spin it gives us or converts the kinetic energy into electrical energy, okay? So the electrical energy is transferred through cables to our homes to give us the electricity to operate different devices, okay? Again, so fossil fuel, when we burn the fossil fuel, give us thermal energy, okay? Next, give us thermal energy. The thermal energy used to heat or reproduce sodium to heat thermal energy used to heat water producing steam. Steam turns a turbine. Okay. This steam turns a turbine. The steam is directed through pipes and used to turn a device called turbines. This turbine turns a generator. Okay, when the turbine moves, it turns a generator. The movement of turbine produces kinetic energy, which is used to operate the generator. When the generator is turned on, it converts the kinetic energy here into electrical energy. This electrical energy is transferred to homes. Okay. So the electrical energy is transferred through cables or wires to the homes to operate different devices. Okay, clear? Yes, the lesson three is finished. Let's exercise on this lesson. Complete the following sentences. Question number one. When fossil fuel is burned, it produces what? Yes. When we turn in the fossil fuel, it produces, yes, thermal energy. It's called what? Thermal energy. In electric power station, the thermal energy that is produced from burning fossil fuel is used to heat water to form steam. To form steam, okay? S-T-E-A-M. Question number three. In the electric power station, there is a device known as that is used to convert kinetic energy into electrical energy. Yes, called generator. Called what? Which converts the kinetic energy into electrical energy is called generator. Okay. Question number two. Choose the correct answer. Okay. Remains of living organisms that were buried under the Earth's surface is affected by yes, high temperature and high pressure. Okay, high temperature and high pressure. 
the high temperature the high pressure when they, they, they're something is buried under the, the Earth's surf, uh, surface, yes, under the Earth's surface. So there is a very high pressure and a very high temperature, okay? Question number two. All the following factors play an important role in the formation of fossil fuel, except factors play important role in formation of fossil fuels, except fossil fuels need extreme heat, extreme pressure, for oxide, the sediment to bury. So, okay, it doesn't need strong wind. So the answer is strong wind. Okay, all of the following, all forms of fossil fuels are formed. Fossil fuels are formed at what under the Earth's surface, above the water surface, in the air around us. No. All forms of fossil fuel are formed under the Earth's surface. Number P. Okay. The steps of formation fossil fuel don't include the fossil fuels need decaying, need burying, need heating, but don't need cooling. Okay. Okay. Don't include cooling. Number five. We can use the energy. That is produced from to generate electricity. We can use what? Renewable only? No. Not renewable only? No. Renewable and non renewable. Okay. Both of them. We can use the energy produced from renewable and non renewable resources to generate electricity. Number six. All forms of fossil fuels are formed except water, coal, oil, natural gas, horse water. All forms of fossil fuels are formed except water. Water not from fossil fuels. Okay. What true or false? Number one. Any form of fossil fuels must be formed under the Earth's surface. Yes. Any form of fossil fuels must be formed under the Earth's surface. Oil, natural gas, coal can be used to produce electrical energy. Yes, oil, natural gas, coal can be used to generate electrical energy. True. Turning of lives that we don't need is a way to conserve electricity. Turning of fossil fuels inside electric power station reduces kinetic energy. Burning fossil fuels reduce kinetic energy, of course not. Reduce thermal energy. Okay. The movement of a generator in an electric power station reduces potential energy. Movement of generator. In an electric power station produces potential energy, also not produced uh, electrical energy. Lesson four activity 10. Big city environmental concerns means the environmental problems, okay? Concerns means problems. Okay, we will study fossil fuels have many bad effects in big cities, where the increase of people's need in, in cities people need more than in the in the village. Okay, so people need more things. So they need more factories, need more uh, clothes, more uh, objects to live in the city, okay? So there is uh, many factories and uh, industrial and agricultural activities can cause pollution, problems around the world. Some sources of pollution in big cities, burning of fossil fuels. We need more fossil fuels to operate 
uh, factors separating the fossil fuels give us something called the smog smog yeah okay smog which pollutes in the air besides here farmers use pesticides which are mixed with water and canals and the rivers when rainfall is lead to pollute the soil and the water also using chemicals in factories pollute the air and also the nearby water sources and soil okay so the big cities have many challenges and the cause problems and the environment some effects impact the air pollution on the human health. Smoke causes irritation of human eyes and lungs. Okay. Also, scientists have found that the smoke means the smoke have or contain small particles, tiny particles that when the human breathes it in. It, this particle irritates the lung, is causing a damage of tissues of the respiratory system. Okay, so burning fossil fuels pollutes the environment and pollutes the soil and the water. Okay, what happens when the fossil fuels are burning to release energy? People need energy to operate trains, ships cars and even more energy is needed to supply houses schools and the factories with electricity to get this energy the solution was extracted and used fossil fuels to generate electricity we need electricity in everything so we burn fossil fuel more and the more fossil fuels it will generate electricity Cool oil and natural gas is burned at electric power station. So the energy produced from burning fossil fuels is used to generate electricity. Then the generated electricity is transferred to different places through electric wires. Harvest of burning fossil fuels on environment. Burning fossil fuels not only produces electricity, but also pollutes the air or the environment. Where burning coal and oil produce something called carbon dioxide gas. This carbon dioxide gas causes acid rain, acid rain and global warming. Acid rain means when the carbon dioxide gas combines with water in the air, forming something called carbonic acid. This carbonic acid resulting in acid rain causes the death of the trees, decomposition and dissolving rocks, including the brick in buildings, also changes the chemical nature of the structure of lakes causing the death of fishes and also changes the chemical nature in the structure of the soil so the acid rain causes many harms like death of the trees decomposes of the soil and the roots changes the chemical nature in the lake change it, causing uh, death of the fishes also changes the chemical nature of the structure of the soil so this is harvest of acid rain when the water combines with the carbon dioxide gas in the air. Also, we have global warming. Global warming increasing the amount of carbon dioxide gas in the air, forming a layer. This layer traps heat in the atmosphere above the ears, like the effect of Plastic bag around the Earth traps the heat from going to the space. This causing a slow rise in the Earth's temperature, which is known as global warming. Okay. How to reduce acid rain or global warming? The best solution 
to reduce the acid rains at the global warming is to rationalize or decrease the use of energy, where as we reduce usage of energy, the amount of burning fossil fuel to generate energy decrease. With our use decrease, the burning of fossil fuels also will decrease. As the amount of burning fossil fuels decreases, the amount of carbon dioxide gas that pollutes the air, which we are praised, will decrease also. Conserving fossil fuel. How can we conserve fossil fuel? We have learned about fossil fuels and burn it to generate electricity that powers the homes and the houses and everywhere. We should conserve this type of fuel. There is a limited amount of fossil fuel, so we have to search for alternatives or use a, a little amount of it. Fossil fuels are formed over billions of years, so we can't replace it quickly as it's consumed. Fossil fuels are considered another renewable energy resources, so it will run out from the earth if, if the consumption is not rationalized. Okay? Lessons to conserve Fossil fuels. Disadvantage of using fossil fuel air pollution when some fossil fuels burn, they emit gas that cause trapping of heat on the air, causing global warming. So we should walking or using bicycle instead of driving cars. We must turn off lights when are not in the home or the room. Number three, we should replace fossil fuels with renewable energy resources such as solar energy, water, or wind energy. Trapping the heat in the atmosphere which causes rising temperature of the Earth's planet, planet and the change of the climate. This phenomenon known as global warming. We finish this lesson, let's exercise on it. Air pollution is usually caused due to the Source, not cooling, not warming, not freezing fuel, but burning fuel. Question number two. Smoke causes irritation of yes, eyes and the lungs of the human. Okay. To reduce pollution with the smoke, we have to operate cars by To reduce pollution, we should. We have to operate cars with electricity or natural gas. Okay. Acid rain is formed when carbon dioxide gas combines with water. Yes. What true or false? Number one, smoke doesn't cause any tissue damage in the human respiratory system. Of course not. Acid rain causes soil and water pollution. Yes, true. Heat trapped on air causes global warming. Yes, of course, the trapping of heat causes global warming. Number four, acid rain helps trees to survive. No, it kills the trees. Write the scientific term. Number one, it is the phenomenon in which the Earth's temperature increases when carbon dioxide gas increases in the air. It's called global warming. Okay. Number two, it is a type of rain formed with carbon dioxide gas combined with water in the air. It's called acid rain. Okay. Complete the following question. Number one, factors may cause pollution of pollution of air, water, and soil due to the chemicals they use. Number two, 
smoke leads to air pollution, which causes the irritation of eyes and lungs of hair. The change in chemical nature of the soil or the water soil due to the acid rain led to the death of trees. Okay, give reason for farmers must decrease the use of pesticides because the pesticides pollute the soil and the water, which causes also to pollute the environment. Okay, we finished our session for today. I hope everything is clear. Uh, see you soon. Goodbye.